How's it going everybody? My name is Raj. Welcome back to another episode. So in the case you missed the previous episode, we encountered a new phenomenon where the digital world merged with the real world. We encountered a new character, Suedo, or Sedo, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Apologies if I've gotten that pronunciation wrong. And we've currently got ourselves a new job, so apparently the heating is on the fritz, so we have to figure out what is going on. Okay. And if you're wondering why I'm just skipping over this dialogue, this is actually my second attempt at recording, so I'm not going to read this dialogue, so apologies, you can stop the video and read it if you guys are curious. So let's just get straight into what we have to do. Okay. Actually. Oh yeah. yeah, we're Gucci. We're good. And we gotta go look for the source of this problem. Which is in K Cafe, which seem to be where a lot of where the disturbances are coming from. Okay. So what we're gonna do is to get rid of this old firewall here. There we go. Because there is definitely an item around here. I, I have seen it. Here we go. Three HP capsule C's. Ah, yeah. I'll take that. We won't say no. Okay. I can only imagine who the corporate must be if it was a Frigimon. Was making it colder. Well, actually, I do know who it is because this is my second time recording it. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll go all the way down here. Actually, let's go around here to see. No, we got that item already. Okay, that's Grant. That is Gucci. Yeah, go away, Caramon. Thank you very much. Here is our culprit. Alright, yeah, 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 whatever. You're acting crazy, so we gotta get rid of you, so. Yeah, I love the animation for Howling Blaster in this game. It's 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 so good, like. One thing I'm actually disappointed in, and I was I I'm pretty sure I've discussed this with you guys in another video. I really wish they'd added an animation for Gargamon to have uh, Gargapellets, his other move, as a special attack too. I know I know that he would have had two special attacks for a champion level Digimon in this game that would be a bit unusual because most champion level Digimons would have one attack. Um, there's really only one, a couple of Megas that would have two attacks like War Greymon or like uh, that kind of thing. So. Yeah, but still. And his Digivolution Rapidmon doesn't even have, you know, rapid fire, which is a bit disappointing. You know, spoiler to uh, anyone who <laughs> hasn't played this game. I mean, I still think this is a really good game, though. It's, you know, if you're a fan of the Digimon franchise, you should definitely pick this game up. Yeah, we just, we ate that man, you... Ah, bruv. Good night. You remember this. I'm sure you will, son. I'm sure you will. Okay. Another case done. So, so long as this guy doesn't uh, make things worse now the next time so but anyway that's another case closed so we have to go to Shibuya next okay actually wait I think we have to talk to Kyoko first do we I think we do that's grand yeah 
And actually, guys, I was thinking of upgrading my computer recently. The reason being is that I decided to see what my processor was like when my videos would render. So, I had a look. And my processor was fully maxed out at 96 to 98 to 100%. Yeah, I definitely need a new processor. Like, Jesus. If you're curious, my processor is an Intel Core i5-7600 processor. I'm going to upgrade to the 7700 Core i7. Which, I know, it's a little bit old. It's a little bit older, but... Well, I suppose not that old, what, about two years old now, is it? Maybe two, three? But you see, the thing is, my motherboard actually can't take the newer processors at the moment. So it can't, it, it can't accept any of the, the, like the core i7-8700 or past that, you know? And it doesn't support overclocking either. So, yeah, I'm kind of stuck with this motherboard until... Like, it's a great motherboard for the money. Like, it was less than 100... It was less than 100 euro. Like, it's an MSI uh, B250 mat motherboard. So, it's perfectly... It's perfectly good for what you need it for. But, yeah, I'll definitely have to upgrade my motherboard in the future. <laughs> Hopefully not for the next two years. There's a few upgrades I'd like to make. I'd like to add a new graphics card, which is obviously the, the NVIDIA... Uh, 3080 graphics card, but those like the PlayStation 5 are like gold dust thanks to fucking scammers and that. And hopefully, I want to I want to try and get an NVMe M.2 SSD as well. But anyway, I am rambling here. Let's go talk to this ting. Why does nobody pay attention to me? They never notice me. Not one person. But woe to thee who finds the entrance there. As we're nearly hit by a car. Jeez. Oh, man. I just love their supernatural events, lads, I swear to God. Anyway, let's go tackle this new case. I'll read, the, I'll read the later dialogue for this case, uh, but uh, yeah, we're just going to skip over a lot of the dialogue. Like, basically, to summarize, there is an urban legend that the that a high school occult research club needs to verify, and they want our help. That's basically, that's basically it. The legend goes, like, if, you, if the, all five of them walk to the center of Shibuya Scramble Crossing, all five, then someone will reportedly come back to life. That's essentially, in a nutshell, what this is about. And they're looking for our help to verify this rumor to see if it's true. So, I'll read out the later dialogue. I'll read out the dialogue later in this episode, but for the moment, I'm just going to skip over a lot of these. So, that's the nuts and bolts of what we got to do right now. Another weird case on our hands. That we do, Kyoko girl. That we do. Okay. So now we gotta go find the four all of the all of this girl's friends. Now, the next one is around here. Here he is. Go up here. Talk to this lassie here. Maid outfits, lads. They love their maid outfits. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, we gotta go upstairs again. No, we don't. Okay, so second floor it is. Busy. Oh, there is she. 
There she is. But woe to thee who finds the entrance there, for if you make it, Yeah, I'm sorry, but like, I got, I gotta do some kind of a creepy voice for that. I mean, you know, like I can't not do it. You know, I know I said I wasn't gonna read much of the dialogue here, but anyway, I'll start now. Can everyone hear me? We're now going to commence verifying the urban legend, the legend of Shibuya Hirasaka. I've hacked into the cameras at Scramble Intersection. I'll be watching you all from here and giving you commands as necessary. Keep your eyes and ears peeled and be ready for anything. Now let's get started. To, to hear to hear of it, a curse. To see it, even worse. The depths of Shibuya. It's where it all must cross. You're doing great. Keep up that pace. Lily, I need you to speed up a little more. When you feel alone, down you must go. When you feel low, down you must go. I'm not singing this because I have a god-awful singing voice and I'm not going to uh, expose you to that horror. Good, good. You're all, about to You're all about to reach the scramble crossing. The traffic light should cooperate too. That being said, just in case, I went in and rigged it to work in our favor too. So just go ahead and cross. At the bottom lies a secret. Hidden world, but woe to thee who finds the entrance there. For if you make it, you'll only meet despair. You will only meet despair. Well, how'd it go? We did it. We all made it here at the same time. Yeah, I guess we did, huh? Yep, without a doubt. Sounds like a gunshot. What the hell? What the? There's nobody here. Where did everyone go? You're right, there aren't any cars around either. Looks like we've lost contact too. Wait, what's that? Oh yeah, that's a little creepy. Let's see, what do you all have to say? I knew it, I knew I shouldn't have tagged along for this thing. I don't like this. It's giving me the creeps. Since when is Shibuya ever this quiet? Did we actually succeed? Now I'm not so sure. Hello, detective? Are you there? Hello? It's not going through. I can't reach her. Alright. Let's go see what our eerie friend here has to say. Why doesn't anyone pay any attention to me? I know I read that wrong, but fuck it. Let's go with it. <laughs> or maybe they actually do notice me. I can't live here anymore. I can't live and be here anymore. So I'll... What? Who are you? How long have you been there? I'll die and remain here. Here at the bottom of Shibuya. In the other world. She... she, she vanished. Ah! Yeek! What's going on? What's going on here? Where... Where did you come from? <laughs> what am I seeing? Hey! What's going on? Come in! Kenny! Look out! close one. If we didn't hear your voice just now, that truck would have... Are you alright? What happened? Fill me in. What? 
was all that? And now everything's going back to normal. What's happening here? We owe Detective Matayoshi a lot for helping out again. Not only did he restore calm, but he also took the truck driver in for questioning. Apparently, that truck driver didn't see any of you until right before you were all nearly hit. But here's where it gets strange. The crowd in the intersection saw you all the whole time, but nobody responded to their warnings. It's like you guys couldn't see or hear anything that was going on around you. Actually, yeah, that's how it was. We didn't know there were... We didn't know there were still other people around until your assistant spoke up. And would this girl happen to be that high school student you saw there? Th it is! That's her! Yeah, definitely. She's the one for sure. I see. Well, that settles it. What do you mean? Who is she? She was a high school girl who was killed three months ago in an accident at Scrambled Crossing Intersection. She, she died in an accident? For real? Yep. She was even hit by a truck. But what doesn't make any sense is we saw her with our own eyes right in front of us. She came back to life. Huh? Don't you remember? That's how the legend of Shibuya Harasaka goes. Hmm. So what you five saw back there was the dead brought back to life then? I don't even... I did a little research. Shibuya, t Shibuya today is a valley that was cut off from Shibuya River, which now runs under Scramble Intersection. Rivers are a common border in myths and religious and religions. Between this world and the next, there's the great there's the Zanzu River in Japan and the river Styx in Greece. I'd say you guys got caught up in one such place today. There are a lot of names you can call it, but the end result remains the same. Anyway, this case is closed. We set out to prove Shibuya Hirosaka is real and we did. Really? You're just going to Leave that girl alone? Is that what you want to ask? Hmm. You may be confused about our role. Don't forget, we're not ghost hunters and we're not exorcists. That's not what we do. We're cyber sleuths. No more and no less. I would appreciate it if you remember that from now on. Stay safe on your way home. Don't get into any accidents for real now. Well, that case is over and done with now. Although, I know you didn't get a chance to really use your powers. But I think, but I figure, if you had used them in front of the other kids, you would have spawned another urban legend. <laughs> if I kill everyone, that'll make me lucky. And if everyone dies, that'll make me happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't resist that voice at the end. <laughs> oh my god. And we got a rank up. Apprentice Sleuth, we got nothing for it. But look at you'll have that. So now we gotta go to the Eden entrance. Actually, fun fact, I've, there are a few scary movies I haven't seen. Like, I don't think I have seen Nightmare on Elm Street. Have I? No, no, I haven't seen that one. I haven't seen Friday the 13th. Probably the only one that I have seen, which was scary, or even... It's actually, no, it wasn't scary. It's was more weird than scary. That was the Silent Hill movie. I watched it in secondary school. One of the lads brought it in. It was just really weird.
Okay, now we got ourselves another case. So let's go see what we got ourselves to deal with here. But yeah, I haven't really seen a lot of our horror movies or anything. And the ones that I have seen were absolutely awful. I think one movie now, this is strictly in my opinion now, that I did see recently, or the most recent horror movie-ish, was was uh, It 2. Now, I haven't seen the first movie, but I have heard that the first movie was meant to be good. But the second movie, it was, it was kind of disappointing. I didn't, I wasn't really too fond of it now, I have to say. Yeah, there was one jump scare in it, one or two, and it was, it was creepy in parts, but overall, it was a little disappointing. Hey, nice to see you again, Manaka. What brings you here by yourself? Uh, well, I think I might be caught up in a cybercrime. Cybercrime? Did you go to the police? I can't really. There are some supernatural elements involved, I think. I understand. You made the right choice by coming to us. All right, give us the details. Okay, take a look at this. It's my log on DigiLine. All right, let's see what you've got. Should I go to my club tomorrow? I claim to do research, but all they really do is hang out and talk. It's only a club because everyone has similar interests. I should probably enroll in something a little more serious and go to that too. And I should really use my hot manly boyfriend too. Oh my gosh, did I just write that? Love heart. Oh, that's fucking cringy anyway. Uh -huh. What's so special about this? Keep going, you'll understand why. Could Kenji have a crush on Mei? La 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 la, no way. She has a one-track mind. She can't think of anyone else but occult stuff. Does that guy even has his eyes on straight? He's such an ass. He has a real hot... Oh god, yeah, I couldn't read that. Uh, maybe I should seduce him. <laughs> I mean, I've got the goods. I'll give him a peek any time. Okay, right. <laughs> Where the fuck is this going? Because I didn't read this the first time. I just skipped past it. But anywho. How do I put this? Your posts aren't pulling any punches here. Putting my personal opinion aside, I otherwise don't see anything wrong with them. They look normal to me. Uh, the thing is, I didn't write that stuff. What? They just randomly showed up, but they freaked me out so badly I deleted them. I hear you. Then doesn't that mean your account was probably just hijacked? It's probably hacked, not hijacked. Fuck. Some two-bit hacker probably did it to screw with you. Or maybe your computer is infected with... No, it isn't anything like that. Hmm. Then I take it this is where that supernatural part you mentioned factors into these posts? Yeah. I wasn't the one who wrote those posts and put them online, but they are how I feel. What you see written here, there, that's stuff I think about, but don't express out loud. Okay, I get you. It's stuff that's hard to share with any of the club members, basically. R right. Hmm. Seeing as you're in an occult club, I'm sure you know about Ouija, Ouija, Ouija boards and whatnot, right? Your hands move against your will, sending you messages from the spirit world. Something like that could very possibly be happening to you. Looking at the time, the post times on your log, those messages w went out in the dead of night. You should have been sound asleep by that point. Okay, then what? In the late 1800s, there was a academic by the name of Enrio Inoue, who posted these sorts of things, who, posit who posited, yeah, whatever, uh, these sorts of things that can come from having multiple selves. Enrio Inoue? You mean that man who came up with the multiple studies, right? 
I've shown off his work at the club, Biff. Hold on, are you saying I have a split personality? The politically correct term for that would be disassociative identity disorder, actually. I guess, I guess that makes sense if I'm writing these posts at night without realizing it. That would explain it, but, but, maybe is it really that I've honestly been worried that it might be deep down? But no, that's not it. Hmm? This isn't because of some mental issue here. Here, take a look at this. Just try and find me! This was just now posted onto your account. It's a reply from what I wrote on your digiline. To the culprit. I'm a detective who's taken Manaka's case. Know that we will track you down and uncover your identity no matter who or where you are. You can't hide forever. You've been warned. I swear to God, lads, you don't want to get on Kyoko's bad side. Seriously, this one is an absolute unit. This conversation unfolded online as you and I were talking whilst you weren't even touching any terminals. This means that you're not the one behind those posts, let alone a ment any mental disorder of yours. The real culprit is out there somewhere. Whoever's behind it is just a dumb troll, albeit an arrogant one at that. To quote Enrio in Oe's work again, what we've got in it is a case of fake wonder, or someone is, or someone trying to make this look more mystical than it really is. In other words, this is plain old hacking. You said that the contents of these posts are based on actual facts about yourself, yes? Well, I don't know about facts so much so as just how I think and feel, really. Were you logged into Eden before you fell asleep? Y yes, I do that every night. Gotcha. Then, the way I see it, I bet the culprit's been snipping around and hacked into your memory data in Eden. You could do that sort of thing in Eden? Well, not literally. At least, not when you're lone wolfing. I'm not... Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Still, avatars in Eden are essentially digitized versions of people's mental data, so to speak, and so memory data hacks are there f are theoretically doable. Things take a bit of a different turn once th the so-called supernatural enters the equation. Huh? Don't sweat it for now. Just log into Eden tonight like you normally would. I'll have my assistant waiting for you in the lobby. Alright. But what do you actually plan on doing? Oh, let's just say we're going fox hunting. And our decoy will be our little maiden's deep, dark secrets. <laughs> Looks like Monaco's not here yet. Here's hoping th this isn't a sign of what's to come. Hmm? Oh, I had Monaco lay down our decoy. If the culprit's the type of person I suspect they are, they'll definitely go for it. That means it's pr pretty safe to guess to say that they're going to log into Eden tonight. Once they're in position, it's just a matter of apprehending them. But that shouldn't be a problem either. Because that's going to be... Because Pete's going to be working with us. Which, if you guys remember, was the Digimon we found a few episodes ago. How's it going? Long time no see. Thanks again for what you did back there with the AC stuff. I had Pete here look about, look, uh, take a look at those posts that the hacker wrote, so we could learn their scent. Yep, turns out those messages had traces of Digimon on them. Can't fool me. I'll let you know when the bad guy's close by, and you can count on me and my nose. But of course, that's why I brought you on board. So cool working with a real life detective. I feel like the, a real boy wonder here. Eh, you don't know who the real boy wonder is? Really? There was no reading there. God, my reading is awful. My apologies. Hey, I'm here. Sorry to keep you waiting. I did, like you asked, post up my message on my Digiline, but am I really going to be okay doing that? 
You're curious what she wrote, aren't you? It's fine, I'll tell you. She confessed her love to the hacker and also mentioned that she really wanted to meet him. It's a real blatant ploy on our part, but again, this guy thinks his hacking skills are hot stuff. He's going to want to verify Monaco's claims, probably by checking her memories directly. Hacking memory data takes some work, even though... Takes some work, though even to just take a look inside it. It'll, re it'll require actually directly reaching out and making contact with her avatar. That's the only way he could have done this. He had been touching her somehow in order to do the hacks. That's fucking... Anyway, come on, let's get on with this. Good hell, all this dialogue. I smell him, he's close by. Right, lovely. Let's go find him. I don't know exactly where he is, so this won't be too difficult. Oh my god, he's clearly not over in this glowing corner over here. He's right in front of you. Hurry up and do a scan. Yes, we've got you now, Buster. You're not going anywhere. Precocious boy, he's a precocious little brat, alright. Genius architect boy. You're a real genius if you're allowed yourself to get caught there, son, but anyway. Yeah, whatever, you, you've been caught there now, boy, so... Just the episode is running on a bit long, guys, so I'm gonna skip past most of this dialogue, if you don't mind. And we are officially done with this case. So guys, you know what? I think I'm actually going to end off the video here. If you liked the video and my god-awful reading, <laughs> then leave a like on the video. Or if you didn't enjoy it at all, then you guys know what to do. Feel free to leave a comment. I do try and reply to them. And be sure to check out my other videos. I do have another Let's Play archived in Spire of the Dragon. So if you guys want to check that out, feel free. That'll be at the end of the linked on the end of the video here. And I hope you guys have a really good day and I shall see you guys tomorrow with a brand new episode. Take care guys and enjoy the rest of the day.